I bought the cheapest premium Sim Racing Pedals. Okay. Wie cheap sind sie denn? Okay, ich bin ja mal, ich bin gespannt, was sie kosten. Hey, it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome back to a Settle Corsa. But of course, the star of today's video is the pedals you can see in the lower left corner of your screen. And uh, these are Simjack Pro pedals. I got them from uh, AliExpress. So, you know, AliExpress, not historically known for quality, but the price I paid for these is absolutely absurd. About 250 US dollars. Uh, I got them on a 50% off sale, but even regular price, they're about 500 US dollars. What? Which is, you know, notably cheaper than other, what you might deem premium pedals. So, you know, I don't think there's any strict dictionary definition of premium pedals in the world of sim racing but you know the all metal construction and you've got uh you know the 200 kilogram load cell what Mom was and they're fully modular and you know the uh progressive uh, resistance in the clutch there's a few other features that would kind of elevate these above your standard pedals but again it paid about 250 us dollars for them and if you're saying to yourself well big deal you but didn't 250 us in uh <coughs> in euro alter das ist ja richtig günstig und die machen halt ein also jetzt was man nur was man sehen kann machen die halt wirklich einen guten eindruck you fluked out and got a 50 off sale well they're still on at 50 off and I actually didn't buy them the first time they went on sale for 50% off. So I saw it and I thought, you know what? I don't need another set of pedals. Then they came on sale again at 50% off and I was just like, I gotta do it. And then I was like, well, was it just a fluke? And then, yeah, they're still on sale as of the time of this recording at 50% off. So I don't think this is a sort of once in a lifetime type sale. I think AliExpress probably routinely puts these pedals on sale at 50% off. And uh, it even includes free shipping, apparently. It wasn't free for me by the time I got it to Canada. It was an additional $84 Canadian. So you can tack on $60 US to that price. Uh, and of course it's going to vary greatly depending on where you are in the world. But uh, yeah, <laughs> all told, you know, you're looking at somewhere around 300 US dollars for a set of quote unquote premium pedals. So the big question, the reason you're here is, is it worth it? Do they perform like premium pedals? Der Markt ist einfach so abgefahren crazy geworden mittlerweile. Wie zum Geier kannst du für 250 Flöten ne And it's kind of a mixed bag. I have uh, spent, what, I guess about four or five hours with these things once I had them fully set up. And by the way, set up is not a treat. Uh, there is no software included with these pedals, so you got to go with DI View. And uh, oh. actually, it wasn't that bad once I opened up DI View. It was actually uh, fairly simple to get them configured from there. Uh, also, it's wie die uh, wie die Tau Handbremse, die man über DI View uh, konfiguriert. Okay, aber ey, pff, am Ende, solange man Geld spart. Uh, but the lack of a proprietary software or a custom software for the Simjack Pro pedals, uh, definitely in the negative category. Uh, so that's the first one. But uh, as I say, I've been running with it. Uh, in a functional form for about four or five hours and I have to say that I'm quite impressed they're they're a far far cry from my uh, uh, Husingvelt sprint pedals so don't be thinking that you can get the same level of quality as the Husingvelt ultimate or the Husingvelt sprint pedals uh, for you know a quarter of the price or a third of the price whatever it works out to uh, these are not on that level just yet so the reason I say just yet is because I need to spend some time tuning these and there's no in extra springs no extra elastomer resistors included but I'm gonna try and find some whether I have to order them or whether I you know search through my garage and find some off like a well let's see got Fanatec elastomers, 
what else? I've got Ace Tech Elastomer, so something might fit. But uh, definitely I want to do some tuning of these pedals, because fundamentally, these should perform a lot better than they are currently performing, and it just feels like it's the equivalent of having a really, really fast car in sim racing and a terrible setup. That's what it feels like. Well, not terrible, but uh, a setup that doesn't do the potential of the car justice. And that's kind of how I feel about these pedals. They feel very strong. There's a bit of wiggle, certainly more wiggle than my sprint pedals. But overall, the quality, you feel like you can just kick the snot out of these things. Das ist doch genau wieder so ein Stück Hardware für die Leute, die sehr viel, sag ich mal, DIY unterwegs sind und die aus den Dingern einfach wieder richtig brutale Pedale machen. Also sagen wir mal, skandalös jetzt als Beispiel, skandalös hat nicht so viel Knete übrig, ist aber, was seinen Job angeht, einfach, sag ich mal, handwerklich ausgebildet und macht aus den Dingern halt für, ich sag mal, ein bisschen einkaufen, 30 Euro oder 40 Euro extra, holt er sich ein paar Teile und hat dann richtig geile Pedale. Und du wirst nicht damage them, which is course a very good feeling for a set of pedals um, but I would say the accelerator is too stiff it has a gas shock on it um, which I don't know why it's there I guess it's to rebound faster when you let off the throttle but uh, yeah it's way too stiff for my liking so I'm gonna get rid of that gas shock and just go with the spring that's included on that particular pedal and then the brake there's too much travel you might be able to das sieht richtig gut aus. Jetzt mal ohne Scheiß, die sehen richtig gut aus, Mann, für das, für das Geld. See that, but uh, depending on how you like your break, if you're from the Ace Attack world, I mean, forget it. Or if you, you know, have tried an Ace Attack pedal and thought, that's how much travel I want in my brake pedal, uh, stay well clear of these Simjack Pro pedals, because there's just a ton, a ton of travel. Now, there is a topic there. There is a discussion to be had around how much should a pedal, should a brake pedal actually travel? Because you get some people swearing that it's just, you know, you're moving it millimeters. That's all you need. And then you get other people saying, well, there's plenty of onboard videos now of pedals in action and uh, even race car pedals have a lot of travel. So it's not necessarily one size fits all. It's going to depend on the type of car you prefer to drive. It's going to depend on, you know, what you want to feel as a sim racer. Personally, I like mine quite a bit tighter than this with quite a bit less travel than this. Again, it has that 200 kilogram load cell. So there's a big potential in this one. But uh, yeah, as of right now, it just feels a little squishy for my liking, a lot squishy for my liking, actually. Ja, also so geht's mir bei allen Pedalen. <lacht> Alle. Uh, I would prefer if this shipped with stiffer elastomers and a stiffer spring at the very back. And then the clutch, the clutch feels probably the best of the pedals, but at the same time, uh, it does feel a little bit too soft, even with that gas shock on it. Um, I guess I just kind of got used to the feeling of the Husig Belt Sprint um, clutch pedal. And uh, yeah, it just feels a lot more loose uh, than that one. So I'm gonna try and stiffen that up somehow. There's plenty of adjustment on all three pedals, uh, like mechanical adjustment. So I can probably dial some of the things I don't like out. But uh, yeah, I think I will have to source some elastomers and maybe a spring for the brake. So the plan is to do that as kind of part two of this video series. But uh, yeah, this was just meant to give you an introduction to the Simjack Pro pedals, and uh, what a deal. <laughs> Again, 300 US dollars for a three pedal set is a good deal, kind yeah, of in any domain. But to have, you know, the all metal construction, again, 200 kilogram load cell, and uh, you know, the multi-stage clutch resistance, and uh, let's see, the damper on the uh, accelerator pedal, which I don't like, of course, but uh, <laughs> You know, it is considered kind of a premium feature, uh, is just a absurd deal. It doesn't even really make sense. So I did want to share my thoughts here. And yeah, again, I think there's a lot of tuning to be done and improvements to be made, but fundamentally the core is there. I feel like this is a barn find. <laughs> like, I feel like, uh, you know, somebody has stumbled across, uh, what's a car? Let's say a, die Dinger kosten wahrscheinlich in der Produktion nichts und da macht jetzt gerade jemand sehr viel Geld mit. 
I don't know, old school Hemi Dodge or something like that in a barn find. And you know how beautiful and how powerful this car could be at its best, but the thing barely turns over as of right now. It's kind of like this. Uh, it more than turns over. If you told me this is the last set of pedals you'll ever own, Mike, and you're just going to have to live with them, I would probably be fine with this as it is. But having come from the world of Husingfeldt Sprints, I know what... Uh, i got to change what I was going to say there. I have a preference for what a good set of pedals feels like, or um, in my world, I know what I want out of a set of pedals is maybe the best way to phrase it. And this is not that, this is not that. But, uh, you know, compared to some mid-level pedals that I own, this is very, very good. So, um, putting an asterisk beside it, but uh, I would say that you should definitely consider this um, before you dive headlong into a, you know, $300 to $500 set of pedals, because there is wenn das mal reicht. Potential. Mittlerweile sind wir ja schon bei 4000 Euro angekommen. Here. So, again, I'm going to do a follow-up video where I do some tuning and see if I can get these more to my liking. And then the intent is to do a full review in time. Das wäre zum Beispiel so ein Stück Hardware, das könnte man kaufen. Ist das Quatsch oder kann das weg? Das wäre die Rubrik. I'm and uh, give you my uh, final thoughts on kind of a tuned version and I'll give you a final price at that point. But, uh, Yeah, I think for most people, in order to get these set of uh, this particular set of pedals, these Simjack Pro pedals, to your liking, it's probably going to take at least some tuning. And again, that absence of a uh, proprietary software by Simjack is uh, really a, a letdown. I had hoped there would be some download link on the AliExpress website, but then I uh, did a little more research, and as it turns out, You do need uh, DI view, or I think the other one's called FreeJoy. I can't remember. But uh, anyway, there's a few free programs you can find that uh, will allow you to tune these. So. Naja, aber da kommt ja, also das, wenn wir das jetzt wirklich mal nehmen, da kommt ja das her, wo halt auch das Geld steckt. Ne? Also Softwareentwickler müssen bezahlt werden. Da gehen viele Stunden auch in die, in die Software rein. Das vergessen Menschen immer. Die, die, also die meisten Menschen denken immer, sie kaufen das Stück Hardware und das war's. Also. Wir reden halt immer noch von Produktentwicklung, Softwareentwicklung, dann musst du ja das Material bezahlen und dann musst du ja die Leute noch bezahlen, die da drin stecken und dann kommst du halt auf solche Preise. Ne? Also ich weiß nicht, ob die jetzt irgendwo in, sag ich jetzt, in China gefertigt werden, wo halt fast alles gefertigt wird. Dann kannst du halt solche Preise anbieten, wenn du, sag ich mal in Anführungsstrichen, Open-Source-Software, die draußen ist, benutzen kannst, wo dann nicht der Name drin steht, aber sie erfüllen nachher trotzdem den Zweck und dann fällt halt sehr viel Geld weg, weil dann musst du ja nur das Material bezahlen und die, die das fertigen. Ja, yeah, overall, um, warm impressions, these things aren't lighting up my world, but I also definitely do not hate them and I see the potential in them, so these are just kind of my uh, early thoughts, I won't call them first thoughts, because I, as I say, I have put some hours into this already, uh, but they're certainly performing well, and um, yeah, I just got to improve the feel, but uh, so far, you know, they haven't stopped working, and yeah, kind of overall what you'd be looking for in a set of pedals these things deliver so i'm happy all right gonna cross the finish line here to wrap up the race in second place lots more on these simjack pro pedals coming and thank you for watching danke für den äh, eindruck okay das klingt wirklich sehr interessant was für also für sagen wir mal 300 euro ich meine was kommt denn da als nächstes in die nähe was wären da... Was kostet ein Klappsport aktuell? Klappsport sind 355. Moser hättest du noch eine Lohzellpedale mit 179 Euro im Angebot. Also ich sag mal, ein ordentlicher Satz Pedale bist du 600 los. Aber es ist kein Dreipedal-Set, ne? Das dürfen wir jetzt nicht vergessen. <lacht>